<laughs> si, I saw the right video. Either. I saw the video. Uh, you and Martin and a couple other guys, y'all were hunting. In the what? You and oh. Martin and a couple other guys were hunting. Yeah, we're oh. seek one. <laughs> oh, oh, with the uh, speckle uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, y'all filmed that? Yeah, it was filmed all morning. <laughs> I, I never know. Yeah. How are you supposed to know? I'm, a, I'm a bl- bl- oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> He's a blablivious. 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 But you shot good. I mean, from the video. Hey, yeah. Unless and it hey, was look, trick, trick and camera work. Hey, and that wasn't even my good eye. I was using my bad eye. Just think what I'm going to do when I get my other eye fixed by shooting eye. He dope popped that decoy. Hey, that's it. I threw yeah. that decoy. <laughs> yeah. I did see that. Hey, hey. He woo, took it woo. with BBs in it. Oh, yeah. Now, what do we got here? Somebody drew a picture of Eagle the Pigeon. It's basically Eagle a pigeon, pigeon with a backwards head. Hey, they did it. They actually did a good job. I liked it. He hey. likes it. I oh, like Eagle, the American Eagle flag. was cool now. Hey, we know. He was like long. The, he fa- was the first long survivor. <laughs> it's my favorite pigeon I've ever heard a story about. Uh, Eagle's a- anyway, that was from Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb's dad sent that that's in. Right, that's right. He painted the Eagle the pigeon. Oh, size 2023 now. What's your New Year's resolution? Ha- what you, what oh, you doing this year? year. I, I'm going to try to be a better person than I was last year. There it is. That's my only... So do you have resolution? Do you have something that's obtainable? Because uh, you're a pretty good fella. I don't know how you're gonna get much well, better than you was last. No, year. I, but that's 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 all I, I want. He's not make, gonna threaten make me. With me make me better than I was last <laughs> year. So does that mean you're not gonna punch John David no more? <laughs> no, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other areas. We're working on other areas. No, no, that, yeah. that, that's that's asking too much. Yeah. Ah, not everybody's perfect. I love it, hey, Philip. You got, got anything interesting? The New Year's. Here? I mean, me and my wife are are you know on the athletic green, and oh. that that's it. We're we're exercising and taking the athletic green. And how's awesome. that working out? It's are great. You? We love it. That really? Yeah, yeah. You should try it, Si. It's awesome. I thought when they first come up with, I thought they were talking about actually, you know, the the meal greens. Yeah, no, 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 nothing like that. Turnip green. Well, it kind of is. Mustard. Yeah, yeah. But well, it must. Yeah. That's not what hey, he's thinking. Yeah. Well, y'all read the commercial. It's a pretty good ad. <laughs> it is. I don't know because it says, "Hey, you know, seventy-five different kinds of you know." Hey, we're not doing an ad right well, now, no. though. Hey, but I'm just saying, hey, Look, if, if you, you get, listen to the Duck Call Room, look, we believe in our products that we well, <laughs> tell hey, you about. Here's the thing. If my we favorite, didn't believe in them, we'd throw them out the window. My favorite thing hey. is Cy knows the ad, and he's never read it. <laughs> he not does. once. No, no. Well, no. I, well I, I, yeah, but that's... That, no, I, I'm speaking to the fact of yeah. your memory. I mean, yeah, it me, is me too, Mark. So crazy. He's well, a pro. Hey, I was impressive with when he, J.D. read it. That, hey, you know, most people go to the grocery store and they buy this vitamin and they go ask the pharmacy, you know, what else do I need? You Happy know, New Year. well, you need iron. And then you got the, the TV telling you, hey, no, you need to buy beets. Beets is for your blood pressure and all this. Beets? Yeah. Beets. Beets. Yeah, beets. Reds. Oh, beets. Hey, red reds, beets. Reds and greens. Yeah. Beets? Yeah. Yeah, that's my blood pressure good. But anyway, but if you, in the greens, if you get all 75 minerals and <laughs> all, all of them, stuff, <laughs> all of it. Hey, all of it. Hey, if in you want. One, in one little scoop, too. That's what it gets me. Oh, I love hey, this. Let me just say this. What? If you're a marketer out there looking hey. for somebody who's going to hawk your product and remember it well, <laughs> well he's hey, sitting look, right next to impressive. me. Please email in. Okay, I'm impressed. The fee is not much. Hey, I'm not watching <laughs> our twain. Hey, that don't impress me much. Hey, I'm impressed. Now the guy's quoting a country song from 1998. Hey, that's his good That memory. don't impress oh, yeah, me much. That's, that's a good song. I, I agree, oh, I agree oh, with Mark. Oh. Looks, but hey, <laughs> you heard it here on the podcast first, Ford. If You know, me and Si watch a lot of TV together when, uh. we, go, when we go to events. And Si Late has all the commercials memorized. He's a commercial man. He finishes uh. the commercial. That's why this podcast is well, so successful. Hey. I love you it. Even our about, commercials are entertaining, and then they become the podcast. Well, no, no, but the thing about it is, hey, you got to think about it. They're paying somebody, okay? He makes big bucks. And, hey, sometimes they really come up with a What Si is really saying is he's their target audience. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> you want to know who you're marketing to? That's right. Hey, there he is. This guy, right? Because he here. don't forget anything. That's right. That's fantastic. So to answer your question, Martin, me and my wife are, are working out and trying to get in fit and in shape. I can appreciate the that. New Year. That's, that's good. a good thing. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. So 
Don't ask. Yeah. Mine is just to keep my kids alive. That's I don't know a that that's one. really a resolution, but right now <laughs> well, we're still in survival mode. That's so. a how, good one. how are you making it? Are you doing good? Yeah, we're doing all are right. Are you wore down? Not, well, kind of. He's but. actually looking healthier. He does. He looks good. No, no, I ought to. I've gained 15 pounds. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> I ought to look healthier. I'm right there with you, sir. He's back to his fighting weight. <laughs> no, I'm past well, normally, fighting weight. Normally, when, when this happens to a couple, okay, you know, when this you know, happens. A woman has a glow about her when she's pregnant. Okay. Where are you Martin, going? Martin, I'm confused after they here. Was, his children were born, he started. And he got the glow. He Martin, got the you glow. got a glow That's about you. That's glow. just the new lights, bro. Right. No, nah, Martin. <laughs> no, what you, he's telling hey, you is you look pregnant. No, you well, look, thanks. <laughs> well, no, no. And I, also, a, hey, I agree. Got a glow. Also, I agree. Well, Martin. I'm right there with you. I'm you just trying like to keep two kids alive. Uh, I'll figure out how to take I'm care not of with myself you later. Well, no, I'm no. Just, you know. It's actually working because you look healthier. No, okay? I'm not. I'm actually <laughs> the most unhealthy I've been in probably 12 months well, hey. uh, since I recovered from hey. the last See, thing. that's what looks, happens, though. Looks do not lie. But you can't do nothing. Like, you sit there. Like you can't. It's cold. Well, now we got tornadic thunderstorms. That's it. Yeah, you and we were we were unfreezing pipes last week. So yeah, yeah. The weather's got us down. The weather's wild, but you can't. Like it gets so cold, you can't take them outside. So you can't do nothing. Mm -mm. And then if it ain't cold, when it does warm up, it pours down rain. So it's like it's been weird. Please, I just want to go outside. That's all I want to do. Well, that and, my uh, New Year's resolutions right there, because you remember I lost all that weight, and then I gained some of it back, and then this December I said, you know what, why don't I just finish the job and gain it all back in a month? Well, you're just trying to start heavy. Them first 10 pounds come mm -hmm. off quick. Oh, I yeah. mean, I stepped on the scale, <laughs> and I was so like, I, I mean, all that work with Stone. It yeah. gone. Not I, all of it. I'm but actually. Most of I'm it. actually stunned. I've only gained 15 through this process since they got here. Like, cause I have ate like trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's I mean, when just, you get busy and you ain't got time, you chasing cheap caffeine highs. <laughs> like, yep. yeah, give me that Dr Pepper. Well, <laughs> that one wasn't enough. Give me another one. And like, the easiest <laughs> thing to do you know. sometimes hit that drive through and just yeah, get a. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, three orders of French fries. And uh, it is what it is. Praise be. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Four oh, dogs it. and French fries. Just a bunch of crap. So I'm I'm on. Well, I'm I'm going with the goblin plan for a minute to try and get back down. So the problem is a duck hunter, though. Your resolution really can't start till February 1st. Because we still got to survive this month of January. So my days of drive through kolaches and... And gas station Dr. Pepper's at 10 o'clock in the morning just stay alive ain't over yet. We've only but, just begun. Kalachis you know, are awesome. They are good. They're just good. They're so good. We can talk about that. <laughs> Goblin's not here. <laughs> Look, and then over Christmas, our, uh, our fan, Miss Vicky, walks into the store and she's like, hey, I love all y'all. I saw that. Yeah. Well, I yeah, got, you I, sent me that. I saved them for you. Yeah. I hadn't seen you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, she brings in 10 little tubs of ice cream. Eight. Little Debbie Christmas ice creams. Ooh. So good. And then, but she she thought of Godwin. She got him two keto ice creams, so I got to get those to him. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, our fans are just great. <laughs> yeah. They think of us. They I've like had some us. of that keto ice cream. It tastes suspiciously like ice. <laughs> uh -oh. Not so much uh -oh. cream. Don't tell Godwin. That's your <laughs> thinking of the man. It's, 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 it's all it's, ice. It's suspiciously like a snow cone. <laughs> <laughs> a snow cone but i oh look so then uh, yesterday right so i'm trying to lose weight because I've, I've done i'm ashamed of myself yeah it's just fine. i just the you roller start, you can start february with me the you roller know. coaster yeah, that this, is my weight february is a good time to start and so yesterday i'm like lunchtime i am not by I'm, i gotta go quick but i'm gonna go to uh the smoothie place and that's it i'm just gonna drink some fruit and every other dummy like me was that there was four hundred people in that line. Yeah, there's two, wrapped around the building. There's two places you avoid right now: the gym, health yep. stores, and gyms. Yeah. they are crowded. <laughs> you give them two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> then they're Planet out. Fitness hits their whole budget in January. Well, then that's like okay, if they ain't got rocket money, they're gonna forget about it, and then. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're hitting them all. I boys. know, why not? Right? I Man, mean, this I could go for some W sauce <laughs> right <now. laughs> Hey, look, this is good for you. Yeah, hey, exactly. that's on the plan. Look, we get everybody right now. Look, but. but then last night, the thunders, it's crazy weather. They're like, everybody's leaving. Get home early. They're canceling stuff. And I, I leave work and I drive past the gym. 
whole parking lot's full. So I, at least they're sticking to it. They're like, hey, we're going no matter oh, what. They yeah. just didn't want to walk outside in the rain. <laughs> That's probably true, too. <laughs> yeah, try, just keep working out. back in February and see yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. I'll let you know. Oh, that's oh, Jim is kind of like the government. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no. <laughs> Very Any, Anytime you In go by line. a government project, there's 20 people standing there. <laughs> one guy is working. Jim's the same way. You go into a gym, one guy's on the treadmill, and there's 14 watching this guy run on the treadmill. Just so we're and clear. Looking in the mirror. Just so we're clear, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> but I'm also extremely curious how you know what the inside of a gym looks <laughs> I was about to say, Cy si hadn't been to a gym in his life. Hey, uh, I drive by and I look at the Oh, there mirror. you go. I drive by only and look at the mirror. say, man, look at all those <laughs> yeah. people there. Very uh, accurate. Yeah. Okay. Look at the 14 people watching the one clown on the treadmill. Yeah, and won't even spot him. Uh, yeah, and won't even, yeah. And when he Splits the weight. Nobody helps him. Yeah. Nobody helps You're on if, your own. Yeah, if he drops it, we might have to pick That's it right. up. We don't want to do right. that. Hey, will somebody help that poor guy? Oh, that oh is man. Funny. Well, let's just work our way right into this first commercial. And we'll, 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 I don't even know what it is, get, but hey, we'll, we're going to make it fun. Hopefully, we've already done it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Okay, so 100%, we did not plan this, but our first ad of the day is Athletic Greens, Si. All right. All right. So, I mean, we're right, just... Well, right, here's the deal. Tell them about it. All right, no, no. Tell, tell them. You know about, it. Tell them about the 75 things. 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right? And it's good. That impresses me. Yeah. Yeah, is it because it supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging? <laughs> That's all the things, sir. Hey, look, what else do you need? Look, it's a great time to get started. It's the new year. A lot of people are taking healthier steps right now. So, look, this is one that we all recommend. We've all taken it. Phil, you and your wife are on it. Absolutely. Me and my are. wife are on it. And, look, hey, whatever diet you've decided to go on, it's January 1st. I know you're on one. This works with it. It does not affect any diet out there. Keto, paleo, all the diets. This one will go with that, hand in hand. And it's not expensive. It's less than a cup of coffee a day. And I know you're either drinking an energy drink or a cup of coffee every day or a Coke or something. And this is cheaper than that. And when you do it, you're investing in an all-in-one nutritional in insurance so right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season it's just one scoop in a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health like you were saying that's you don't it. want to go grab yeah. a bunch of different things one scoop that's it to make it easy they're gonna make it even easier how could they do that well athletic greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five free travel packs with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. You should have got on that ball drop in London. You could have had that done six hours earlier. We tried. Didn't work. I showed Carter. Carter was, he's eight now. He was like, I'm making it to midnight. I said, probably not. I'll make a deal with you. New York, because he's obsessed with New York City. He thinks it's really cool. Because <laughs> he, he hadn't been there. No offense, New, New York City. Um, <laughs> he thinks big buildings are cool. So I was like, I'll make a deal with you. 11 o'clock, New York City, the ball drop, and you, you can go to bed after that. And he's like, okay. So he's all fired up about this ball drop. Well, 10, 15, boy's fading fast. I'm like, he ain't going to make it. He ain't going to make it. So I, YouTube. 2022 uh -huh. <laughs> ball drops i do the happy new year and he goes dad that's a 2022 i said yeah buddy that was last year is that good enough he busted goes, he goes cut nope put it back <laughs> i'd have just told him budget was a little tight no, he had wasn't to... having it and so he made it to 11 o'clock said happy new year right when the ohio state guy missed the kick yep I didn't see that because I was having to watch the ball drop. We were flipping back and forth. And mm. then he was asleep by 11.02. Out. But he out. made it. I was proud of him. I me tell you, the only reason I was up at 11.01 is because that football game. <laughs> yeah. I ain't, I couldn't tell you last time me and Brittany saw midnight on New Year's. Like, it's duck season, man. Like we, I don't uh, see it a lot. We going to bed. We going hunting in the morning. It's a weird holiday. Si, how late like, did you stay up, Sai? Si? About 9.15. <laughs> No, I think I went to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah. He's ringing in that Brazilian New Year. Yeah. <laughs> hey. 
So I don't even care. We don't stay up late. And either. I can appreciate that. No, we ain't. No. We didn't stay up late before, kids. We show, certainly don't yeah. now. Yeah. Like, as yeah. soon as they're down, yeah. out. Gone. Hey, if I'm up past midnight, I'm at a poker game. <laughs> and you're doing good. Fireworks. And, and I am not busted yet. Yeah. <laughs> because if he's doing bad, he's still in bed by 9.15. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> no. no, no <laughs> you no. know him, don't you? No, no. That's more. That's what my wife said. Didn't go good tonight, huh? <laughs> Why are you home so early? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I th- no, she don't have to say that. Didn't go good tonight, huh? You're right. Well, she's full of compassion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, as long as I say, hey, you got the checkbook, she says, hey, maybe we're go. still good. Thumbs up. That's there you go. Funny. Uh, oh, man. Year. But that is, yeah, this is, it's also, I mean, like football's almost over. That's sad. Yeah. Is, any, is anything in the news? newsworthy really no i don't know it i'd have to watch is, it i'd have to watch it to find yeah. out i don't yeah. know. <laughs> i never can watch it it's too I don't depressing watch the news. hey our thoughts and prayers though speaking of football that guy played for buffalo last night yeah, that's a bad deal whatever happened there i'm not a doctor i'm not going to pretend i am one on social media well young man just but, know this there was a lot of prayers that left this earth going toward heaven but did you. you did you see so this guy i I'm be fair I never heard of him, but because he's Buffalo, not yeah. in our footprint, yeah. not yeah. we don't get to watch a lot of Bills games yeah. here. Yeah. How would you have? But the man had a toy drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that went from sixty thousand, I think. I think is a uh, yeah. It started out like ten thousand. Yeah, that he was trying to raise for toys in Buffalo yeah. area. Yeah, whatever. for kids. For kids. Yeah, it went in thirty minutes. Three million. Something. It went in thirty minutes. It went to three hundred thousand. And then this morning when I looked at it, it was four million dollars. Okay, is it at four Whoa. million Christine, now? Christine yeah. reported to me three million. Yeah, the last <laughs> I looked at it was four million dollars. I had not heard that. So, the Lord works in mysterious oh, no, ways no. for the whatever mail, reason. The mail, a lot of prayers went up to you personally asking God to heal your body. Yeah, that was that was one of the craziest things as a sports guy. I've watched yeah. it all. That was one of the wildest things I've ever seen. So, yeah. Mr. Hamlin. Your thought, you are in our thoughts and yep. prayers as well, Absolutely. along with your family, yep. um, and and just people in general. Man, you don't like to see that. So um, that was that was bizarre. But hey, I'm kudos to the announcers that was, for yeah. a, an unenviable job of something that ain't ever happened no, no. before. Yeah. yeah, and I'm well on record saying I cannot stand listening to Joe Buck. He drives me crazy whenever he's calling a game. <laughs> but the man. Yeah. My hat's off to you for yeah. what you did last night. And Booger from Winsboro, Louisiana. Booger. Booger. Heck of a job, son. He did great, too. That yeah. was. Well, it was just, it's always tough to watch something play out that shouldn't be played out in front of a stadium. I mean, well, and in fairness and, to them, they don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, so they're that, covering right. it, and then all of a sudden you see the chest no compressions, cl- and you're like, oh. And people go down okay. in football all the time. Yep. And it's yeah. a bad deal. It's a dangerous sport. And, and look, back in the day, when some, if something happened, they would just all of a sudden the screen goes out. They're, they've got a sign, something at the bottom rolling across saying, you know, it's we'll on be a back. Delay. Yeah. And then they're showing old clips of highlights from Super Bowl yeah. ten or whatever. And nowadays you got everybody tweeting every opinion about everything and it's yeah. just it's hard to know what's what's true. You yeah. Know. The good the good thing though is like, you know, we all got our differences, but last night for just a little bit in America it was all everybody that watched that football yeah. game Every, came together. You everybody didn't care what who you were rooting for. It was right. like football's so secondary and and kudos to the guys for stopping the game, like canceling yeah. the game, no, no. postponing it, yeah. whatever you want to call it. I agree. Thank you all for treating him like a human yeah, and that this was a yep. human problem yep. and not just yep. not a big man deal. Wasn't Hardy about a football game. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. For a little bit, it wasn't about football. And that's that's important to remember, especially going into a new year, man. That, that, there's yep. a lot that can be said for that. That I think a broadcast that's arguably worth – I don't know how many millions of dollars. A lot because a they were two on. really good football teams that though that game matters. Yeah. A lot. It's so important. there were a lot of people looking at it. Yeah, that's important. And to just say, no, we're done. Bravo. Yep. Yeah. Bravo. I agree. Because that dude's life is more important than any hundred advertising, any And what a better time too. First responders, y'all did it last night. Like 
there's the reminder that people needed. So yep. when we thank first responders, you got to see firsthand last night why we do that. Like yep. that mm-hmm. they're they're called first for a reason. They're the, they are yeah. the ones there. Mm. So yeah, it was just a cool. It was a sad moment, but a really cool moment to see everybody come together. And to see some people that generally go thankless get some credit that they deserve too. So that sure. was that was uh, an unfortunate deal that can end up being fortunate and do a lot of good out of it at the same time. So, but Mr. Hamlin, yep, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. You know, the craziest thing about running a business is like your employees can put you in all kinds of tricky situations. Yeah. Well, think about Sabi being one of your employees. Uh, well, yeah, he mm-hmm. has been for a while now. So. Tricky, I tricky. Put him in tricky situations, the good boy. news is, is he's not around, so the rest of the office doesn't have to see him sleep every day, That's which right. is <laughs> can make, you know, for HR nightmares. And if you don't want to have to deal with that, we have a solution for you. You can talk to our friends over at Bambi. With Bambi, you get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting at just $99 per month. Best deal going. Look, they're available by phone, email, and real-time chat, so onboarding and terminations run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance, even sigh, and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. And look, when you call them, you get your own manager. They're based in the United States. They can talk to you. They know about it. They're dedicated to your business, your business only, giving you access to the HR expertise and personal touch that you need. And HR managers, man, they if you have to hire one, they are expensive. They can cost up to 80 grand a year, some maybe even more. But Bambi starts at just $99 per month. You can schedule a free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast. When you sign up, it will really help our show. Spelled BAM, B-E-E dot com, Bambi.com, and type in Duck Call Room. Si, you been duck hunting? No. No? No. You off of it? I went, well, no, I did go. I did go. You went with me. I went with you, okay, and that was a blast. Yeah. We shot them big speck of bellies. And then I went with... <laughs> Stone called me <laughs> when it was iced over, uh-huh. and he said, "Old oh, man, get out of bed. We we're gonna make an ice hole and kill the duck. Come on, get out of bed." Yeah, I said, "Stone, I don't want to go." Yeah, he said, "Old oh, man, get your butt out of bed and get dressed and get down here." Yo, yeah, so I went and we did. We killed. I don't remember how many we killed. We had a good hunt. That's good. And they was you know, I always, I always that tickled me. <laughs> yeah, you know. We learned that from the people in Kansas, mm-hmm. from uh, Barrett. You know, and they had to, it gets cold up there, so it's like two inches thick. Yeah, chainsaw. Yeah, the chainsaw. Crank a chainsaw up, cut a round circle, and then push it under the ice. <laughs> you know, and I said, how do the ducks know that you just did this ice hole? Yeah. yeah. They heard from Ever? the polar bear. Well, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Hey, I guess. So they, <laughs> you know it's the craziest thing you on know. <clears throat> you do it, and hey, here they come. Yeah, that was cold. John D., what do you think about no. that? Do you like that cold? I know you didn't. No, I uh, did my best to stay indoors for an extended period of hey, time. Did the only reason, stay unfrozen? Yeah. <laughs> the only reason I told was the good. I said, okay, I'll get dressed, come on. I said, you make sure there's heat. <laughs> you make sure there's heat. I said, make sure. He said, hey, you know, Phil, he's got a heater. Hey, I ain't going to lie. The first day, I towed a heater with me. Now, I never turned it on, but I had it. Well, no, no, that day I <laughs> went with you. Yeah. Okay, y'all had a brand yeah. new heater in the box. Yeah. It's 60 you know, Mark degrees, kept asking that. me, you I called? See. And I said, no, I'm having enough. You know, I ain't called. I'm having fun. Yeah. 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 Now, you I look like cold. you were warm. Oh, no, no. It was, you know, I, you know, I had a pair of weighted that weighed 50 pounds. Yeah. Mm. A long, yeah, he looked like a Michelin man sitting beside yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. We look, look like same, we look the look, same size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look like uh, the old Willie does. Phil Bay Harry Dole, boy. Uh, I, was pudgy. I was pudgy all over. You ain't got to worry about Willie till for another 100 episodes. You shoot however you want. To. Yeah, Willie only shows up on anniversary episodes. Yeah, what the heck? Man, show up. We do 200 of these things. He show up to take the the, the credit for 200. Well, well he hey. did say he didn't think we'd make it this far. Well, hey, He's proud he, of us for making it. That shows you he is smarter than he looks. Okay. Well, that's hey. a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. He also not that tough he to pull off. Yeah. Which uh, side of the bread the butter's on? Hey, what do you think about your brother switching to a 20-gauge? 
Who switched to a 20? Well, well how many brothers uh, I got alive? Oh, wait. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't one left. I, was, I ain't but one. Yeah. I was thinking nephews, and I'd like to apologize. It's also JD's no, IQ. I, no, no. The other day when I hunted with him, okay, some wood ducks come in, y'all, and we cripple one. And <laughs> he's shooting that 20 gauge, and he shot above him. Because I was thinking he was shooting blank because there was no pellets. It's the water. Shooting over him? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I knew he shot the brush above him. Yeah. You know, and he said, good grief, that shell must not have any, had any pellets in it. You know, said, aim said, lower? Yeah, I said, hey, you shot high. Yeah. You know, I said, it'll kill him, you know. But I, that's what took me about it. I said, you finally wised up, huh? He said, well, I got time. I said, hey, when Benelli said that their shotguns don't kick, I said, they told a little white lie. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, I don't, they, they, I don't think they've ever said they don't kick. Well, hey, I yeah, think they hey, said they reduced it. Uh, yeah, but that 12 gauge will still stomp you. Okay, so hey, I wouldn't know. That's why I gave up the 12 gauge shotgun. Plus, <laughs> Preach. it's too heavy. Yeah, 20 gauge is light. Preaches. So. Okay, and hey, I can kill them as far as you can. I thought you were shooting a 28 yeah. gauge. Phil called me and told me. He said, I need a 20 gauge, and I just started dying no, laughing. No, 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 yeah. He said, what? I said, welcome to the dark side. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> he told me. I said, is it better? He said, what are you talking about? Yeah, is it better? Yeah, of he course said, it is. What are you talking about? You yeah. Know, Willis? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, Sai, si, did you get off the 28? No, no, I use that for quail. Yeah. Oh, only for quail. Yeah, that's only quail. Oh, I, I, I kill ducks with it, too. Yeah. Reach. I, I shoot it a okay. lot. No, too. no, yeah. I, I like shooting it for one reason, okay? You know, with a 12 gauge, just boom, and then you got to find them and get back on them. <laughs> with that 20 gauge, Knocks it's just you silly. pop, pop, pop. And especially with a 28 gauge, then it's really just. Poof. Bam, bam, bam. Poof. That's yeah. what it sounds like to yeah. me. It sounds oh, no. like the guns go. Yeah, and it, it ain't much of this either. It's just uh -uh. boom, boom, boom. Poof. Yeah. And they die. Are you sure it's not <laughs> boom, 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 boom? No, we ain't got that many. No. Yeah, we might want to make uh, sure we limit hold. the onomatopoeias to three. <laughs> yeah, they won't hold that I think, many. Hey, this is, onomatopoeia. This is for you, Fred Roy. Word of the day. I had to, you know, hey, raise my Squeeze that one into conversation today. I hey, like it. Thank you. Hey, this is like directed it. at the federal agents. Uh-oh. And the government. Hey, one came in the store the other day. He wanted me to tell you that they're not all bad people. Well, here's the deal. Hey, <laughs> look, he want me to tell you specifically that. What If they're going to hold five shotgun shells, I cannot kill but six ducks legally. What did you care if I shoot one time at them or five times at them? Okay, that's the question. I'm not getting involved. If, hey, if I shoot over my limit and you catch me, I deserve to catch you. Right? <laughs> and you catch me. <laughs> no. He's an outlaw. Well, man. I'm just saying. No, no, I'm just telling just the truth. Just a good old boy. I'm just telling the truth. Oh, he bought a book. Never no. meaning no harm. He no. just wants to rewrite the book. Hey, if the thing holds five shells, let me shoot five times. It's the same. I got a better idea. But, but then, what? you mean, you could put like a drum Why not just make them, the why not make the shotgun manufacturers make it hold three? Why do we need the ability to hold five if we can't well, shoot hey, five? They're all uh, in cahoots, boys. Well, hey. To get your money. Well, then, Baited field. <laughs> Entrapment. Well, then you get into the freedom part. Let's get a and good lawyer. A issue. No, no. Then you get into oh, the freedom expensive. part. <laughs> and that's why I brought up the question about, hey, legally, yeah. I can only kill six. Okay. So, hey, why do you care if I shoot one time and kill one? Or I shoot, it takes me five shots to kill one. Yeah. And I think I know the answer to that. What, well, why? let's hear it. Sporting. Generally, by shots four and five, they're a little far, and you're crippled. Not if you shoot fast like I do. Oh, God. <laughs> Your cripple percentage boom, goes boom, boom. way but, Wait, oh. hey, I well, will. They I can't will make say, different rules for Annie Oakley hey, and Sai. See, you're oh. educating me. I that's, would imagine yeah, that that has yeah, something to do with probably, it. That's probably, okay, that's a good point. But it should be okay. like the golf course. Once yeah. you hit a certain age, you ought to be able to shoot four and then five. By the time you're at 70, you shoot all five any time you want. Oh, if we on that bag, by the time, forget four and five. When you hit 70, lead ought to be back in. Hey, <laughs> it gets a discounted uh, no, I'll say all price. Going, y'all are going with it just because I'm old that I'm harmless. No. <laughs> no, he, no, you're harmful. I can guarantee you you're harmful. No, no. You've just earned hey. the right to, you know. Hey. 
And you don't shoot enough shells for it to matter anymore. Do what you want. Us young boys shoot a lot of shells. Espe- especially at doves. You just carry a lot of Wait shells. Wait a minute here. What? What is old age got to do with shooting that number? Side of everything. Fired up. No. Everything. That's bull. Okay. You, okay. you ain't got a lens in your glasses right now, and you're going to tell me old age ain't got nothing to do with it? <laughs> no, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Side well, then why, did, why didn't you have that surgery at 30? Look at it. Right. His finger's still young, hey, he said. Hey, his finger's still young, son. <laughs> a man wearing one lens in his glass side. He ain't got nothing hey, to do with it. Because I don't need it. <laughs> and, he, and he shot, how many shells have you shot this uh, year? Seven. How many shells? No, he shot a well, box with me. Well, I fixed that. I shot about a box with him, okay, and I shot about half a box down there the other day. All right, so yeah. we're at 30, 40. 35. Yeah. Martin, how 35, many shells well, hey, have look, you shot? Ooh. When I was going every day. You done quit preaching and got to meddling. Now. I'm just asking. Uh, I, I'm uh, trying uh, to hey. prove your point. Yeah, you don't get nosy now. That'll get your nose hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a bad deal. <laughs> More than 30? Yeah, a okay, few. There a few we go. more. Uh, yeah, probably 31. <laughs> I shoot a lot, though. Hey. I shoot a lot. Because I'm generally, with all of us having aged dogs and no new puppies, I'm generally the dog. So anybody that well, cripples one, I got to run that rascal down. That ain't what I saw on the video. So I was shooting them, and some young guy was going and getting all of them. Oh, no. Hey, hey. he wanted to, and by God, yeah. I was going to let him. Well, I was just fixing it. But he went out there the first time. Were you hitting a- them? Huh? Were you hitting well, them? Of course I'm hitting them. Well, that's, yeah. that's a weird deal, though. We ain't blowing like 50. It was easy. Not 50, but it's blowing 25 yeah. straight out the north. It's easy to hit the duck. It was hard to kill him. But, you know, that's yeah, just. Especially, we're shooting them, especially the geese. Yeah. We're shooting geese. Back about it at about 80. Oh, they wasn't 80. Well, <laughs> hey, 60. 60 to 80. I ain't eight. calling the shot at 80. 60, hey, 60 to 80. They was 50. Yeah. All right. A fifty. I was like, that's as close. I was like, that's close. They gonna get. You might as well stand up and get him to the water, and then we'll that's get him from there. That's right. Then they will run him down. Yeah. Well, but that, here's the deal on that. But that's that young boy. Then flat bellies, son. They'll chase them if you get if you take them with you. Hey. That's why it's good to have one on your crew. Well, no, no. That's, we ain't got hey, any. <laughs> hey, it always ends up uh, the youngness. You know. Chase, chase the bird. He went the first time without a shotgun. I said, boy, he going to yeah, regret yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was telling him, hey, hey, hey. He was, he's already gone. Had a lot Martin of energy. Said, it's probably when he come back <laughs> to the next time before he got out there in the water. Bart said, hey, take your shotguns. You're chasing a And shells. Out. And shells. Bunch of them. Yeah, get you a bunch of shells because hey, you're going to have to shoot him like, you know, 60s. You know, yeah, just start you walking. you run. Yeah. Start walking and shooting. Yeah. Apply pressure. Yeah, yeah. That's boom, bow, yeah. boom. Because you'll confuse him pressure. if you don't. Yeah. You'll confuse him shooting. Him. He'll sit there and swim Even circles. If, yeah. If you don't kill him, you you'll confuse him. Yeah. And you go round round, then you walk. You can him. close the distance on yeah. him. Yeah. Then you can close the distance. Mm. That's professional. But if he's got that retreat. head down, got that head down, and he's boogieing. You ain't catching him. No, you ain't gonna catch he him. He's faster than you. Yeah. He swim better than you can swim. You walk and waiter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's Pro tips right here. That's what you're getting right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take another break. <laughs> si, you've been getting you some long winter's naps. Yeah, oh, yeah. Has. with oh, your yeah. head firmly resting on a my pillow. on a my pillow. <laughs> yeah, look, you... hey, I slept fourteen hours the other day. <laughs> you know how I you can do that? I'm serious. Have you my pillow? Because you've got your pillow. That's it. You don't have my pillow. You've got your pillow. Your pillow. My pillow. That's what I'm talking about. Look, you've heard us talk about how much we all love the My Pillow products from Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. My pillow. They make everything too. They don't just make pillows. They make it all. Yeah. They make towels. Towels the best. Thank you. There you go. They I've make been sheets. wearing them slippers all winter long. Slippers are awesome. Every day. They're right beside my bed right now. But the my sheets are pillow. awesome. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Slippers, pillows, you name it. They got it. They're soft. They're comfortable. They do everything that they say they're going to do. And look, right now is a great time to try it out. Right now, you do not want to miss my pillow's best sheet prices ever. All Giza Dream Sheets are on sale for as low as twenty nine ninety nine. With promo code Duck at mypillow.com slash duck. That is fifty percent off. The my pillow Giza sheets are made with the best cotton in the world. They're ultra breathable. They're soft, and they come in a ton of colors, styles, and sizes. They're also durable and stand up to frequent washing. No matter what your kids and pets throw at them, and the deep pockets mean that they are easy to change. Order now because they have a very limited supply. There's a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Both those things are there, but you're not going to need it because you're going to love it. You've got to check out all the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck duck to get up to 66% off and get the MyPillow Giza sheets for as low as $29.99. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck. 
or call 800-969-3137 news promo code duck order now <laughs> cause when they're gone they're gone they're gone boys first time Phil made me pick a dove I was like pick him do what oh yeah I had never done nothing but breasted oh yeah yeah Phil had me sitting out there picking doves. I was like, "Boy, it's dumb." <laughs> now, now I've never. And then I got done. Either. I got yeah. done with them. And, and then, then we went and ate them. And then Phil turned them into doves yeah. and gravy. And yeah. I said, "And some rice." Oh man, I said. So y'all didn't just breast the doves. I mean, no, we picked, picked them. them. No. no, we sat out there and picked oh, them. Yeah. Me and I si went and killed a mess of them on the dog in like late December or something, right at the end of season. And we brought them back. And Phil said, "Hey, get out there and pick them things. We'll make a gravy." And yeah. I'm like. Pick yeah, a, then we'll pick eat. Pick a dove. Like, what in the world? I had never done it. So, But, you know, it's Phil. He's the boss. Yes, sir. <laughs> so here I am picking a dove. I get done with it. He's like that big once you take all the feathers off of it. And I'm like, boy, that seemed like a waste of time. But anyway, I did it. We took it in there. And Phil browned them things in a skillet and then took them drippings from that browning and made gravy and then threw them rascals back in it and threw it in that oven. I said, I don't know that I'll ever breast another one. <laughs> yeah. So how many could oh. you eat? Oh. oh, I could eat 20 of them. I, I think you. we killed 30, and there were like two left between me, him, and Phil. Oh, yeah. We three just of, sat there. Three yeah. of, we ate 28 of them. Yeah, it was, mm. it was wild. Yeah, we shot our 30. Uh, just uh, The first thing you do is just when you pull them out, of, you know, put them on your plate, you pull the legs off. You know, yeah, they like a little toothpick. Yeah, and then you just clean the bone, throw it in the trash can. You know, then you start working on the breast. Oh man, they were good. Yeah. So I always so good. Sign and there's a little, about. there's a little less like a like a <laughs> cheek of a fish. There's a little spot on their back. Mm-hmm. Back strap. So, yeah, just a back strap. Yeah. You know, you eat that. Yeah. So I've always heard you talk about wanting to kill more doves because they don't live long. He told me that they live for a year. Is that accurate? That's probably average. Is probably yeah, average is probably a year. Yeah. They ain't a very slick critter. No. They're a terrible nest builder. Like, they throw three twigs together and put two eggs in it and yeah. hope for the best. They fall out. <laughs> yeah, the, the young fall I'm serious. <laughs> That's yeah. true, yeah. I'm I mean, they're terrible. The, 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 the baby birds fall out. Yeah. But they show You want to kill them and eat them. Oh, yeah. And then, hey, oh, you wouldn't believe the varmints that once they find them nesting in a bunch of trees, like we had a place at home that they have thorn trees. That's where the doves all nest. And hey, coons, mink. Sigh. Me. That's right. Sigh's down there with a rock. Yeah. Sling shot. Getting, yeah. getting old Eagle's cousin. Yeah. Hey, that's it. Oh, he's good eating too. <laughs> you ate Eagle? Oh, now we know what happened to no, Eagle. No, no. Oh, but hold I, on. I have had pigeons. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. I it's a little tough. It's tougher than a dove. Yeah, it's yeah. tougher he's a, than he's a, a dove. Different, he's a different animal. He's tougher. He's tougher than We got a place that we hunted them pigeons to get in there, too. <laughs> yeah. And, hey. I tell you what, now, them, pigeon, pigeon. them pigeons, pigeons can tote some number eights pretty good. They generally a two-shotter. I, hey, just, I, I know they're bold. hard to hit. I would just fix that. We was in Wisconsin on yep. a European hunt. They was turning pheasants loose, chuckers. Uh, well. And they had some pigeons in there. Mm -hmm. Guess what was the best survivor? <laughs> Pigeon? Pigeons. Yeah. Pigeons. So when Look they how come, many there are. Ducking they, and diving. When, hey, when they left, they come out of there, you know, they will get it. Yeah, they'll it. fly. They yeah. were getting it. and they were hey, moving. I think there may have been, you know, probably if they released like 50 pigeons, we may have killed five. Yeah. Okay, because I didn't see many fall. Nope. Mm -mm. If you can make but, it hey, in New York, killed, you can make it anywhere. They released, look, <laughs> no, no, hey. If you can make released, it here, you can make look, it anywhere. They released on that hunt. You reckon they ever took an Ambien? They released 500 pheasant. We killed like 485 of the 500 pheasant. That's pretty high clip there. That's hey, good. Oh, no, them boys, that, that bunch up there. Yeah. They could shoot. This yeah. was military guys okay. at that yeah. event. Yeah. So they, they, could, they, they really could shoot. They oh. could shoot. I was I was surprised because I asked them, you know, that you were surprised. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, hey, that's good shooting. <laughs> Four hundred eighty-five out of five hundred. Not that bad. Means Fifteen misses. Yeah, that's pretty solid. That's solid shooting. Oh now, man! Yeah. Now, in contrast, we went to another place in Oklahoma, <laughs> where they missed so many birds. They asked Sai. They said, Sai, you and Philip want to go clean up whatever wasn't killed. 
So I said, let's go. Let's ride. We class. took the dog and yeah, we, we had saw so many birds. Deal. And, and I, I did learn from that ranch in Oklahoma, you can raise quail and turn them loose and they'll become wild. Yeah, as long as there ain't no predators. Well, no, no. <laughs> because, okay, they did it on that ranch. Yeah. We had one covey we jumped up, 100. 100. Okay. You just shoot That's a, a lot of quail. Oh, no, no. Look, I'm going, we're going west, and I'm looking in the sun. It's going down. Them 100 quail got up. I'm blind. I can't think because I'm looking right at the sun. Well, I Y'all shot. try it now. No, no, look. Hey, I, I shot one time. Philip told me yesterday, why didn't you shoot the other two? And I said, well, I couldn't see that. He said, well, you killed three with the first shot. And I said, well, I should have shot the other two shells. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know? you know, it was a hundred got up. You know? So that you can raise them. And here's another thing I didn't know. If it rains on pale, uh, pen-raised birds, quail, they won't fly. They can't fly. That's right. They can't fly. Is that also true? Not that true? they won't. They can't fly. Yeah. Is That's that why you hunt true? them in the evening. That's why you don't go put them out in the morning. No, no. Because if they get that dew on them, they can't do that. No, no. Yeah. So I, I need just... to know something. Is that also true for ducks that are pen-raised ducks? Oh, I have no idea no. about pen okay. No, because normally a duck, he's in water all the time. He's got a oil gland on the back of his rear end that he just takes his beak and he, he'll... You know, all his feathers. That's Just learned that. Yeah. That's true. Those uh, pen raised ducks that were out why, front hey, sure didn't make it in that dog the saying, that hey, hey, look, don't let that upset that's you. True. Let it roll off you, off your back like duck on a Yeah, on water a off a duck's back. Yeah, water off a duck's back. That's where that saying comes from. Hmm. But they literally oil their feathers, a duck does. Yeah. Otherwise, he'd just he'd soak it up. Be like a comorant out there on the side of the tree. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you see that comorant yeah. doing that on the he's side of the tree, that. he's drying. Hey, he's drying himself out because he's been swimming. Yeah. Catching fish. He's too heavy to fly. Yeah. Can't fly. <laughs> oh, there's all kind of little, little neat Nature things. wild. Eh? <laughs> no, no. No, no. I'm, I'm just there. trying to think of the show that we need of Uncle Si's nature documentary. Uh, oh. No, no. no, no just no, why hey. it hadn't happened. Sad, really. There's some cool things that people, if you don't hunt or fish, that you miss in God's creation. I did like see on the, I did see on the internet somebody shot a a black bobcat. He wasn't black, but whoa! Oh wait, I, I, that was melanistic. Somebody said that he wasn't to black. Me. He was really dark brown. Yeah, dark. Yeah, it's cool. I was like, man, that's awesome. But you know what? He still didn't have a tail. That's wild. I got a question. We're watching the game, me and my wife. All right. Okay, Which LSU. Game? LSU yesterday. Uh huh. I didn't okay, even watch and, that. And, and I, that I don't even know. Yeah, that's yesterday. She asked a question about, well, how many people, you know, where they was running out on the field? She said, good grief, how many's on the team? And I said, that's a good question. I don't know. I said, Google it, baby. Find out. <laughs> yeah, I don't All know. Right, hey, huh? how many college, college team, how many? Players can they have? Ninety five. One hundred and fifty. I would guess seventy something. Nope. I don't know that. Eighty five. Eighty five. Eighty five is normal up to, but they can have one oh five. One oh five. I split the difference. There you go, right in the middle. Use a healthy part of the average. No, no. But I, 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 you know, when she said that, I said, I don't really but know. But NFL is what, like 50? 53. 53. Oh, yeah, you can only dress out 47. Yeah. Because no, you know, when you think about it, okay, still. You know. 46? Yeah, the NFL banks on the deal. We ain't getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's my, and if we hey, do, we in a bind. Yeah. Yeah, that's when they start. It gets, it gets. That's when you have the wide receiver trying to kick, like, or whatever happened early in the season. Oh, just think of it. Yeah. He did it good at it, though. But, but I just thought that was cool. Yeah. 105 total or 85 normal is what they play with. Well, college football is weird because they what, got 53? seven different cheese it Bowls. Yeah. So, 53, I mean. <laughs> 53 for uh, NFL. But they all getting paid now. You got the regular cheese it Bowl. I cheese it spent so much money. Right. I feel like I got to give them a shout out. I woke you up got feeling the cheesy. Cheese it. I love that citrus commercial. bowl. Well, you act like cheese it's ain't. I good. Fixate, I love that commercial. They're good. Yeah, Which I love that Especially them extra toasty ones. Cheesy. I, I like it. it. And then they dump uh, Cheez-Its on the coach. I like that. I've, I've been raised, talking yeah. about Cheez-Its for yeah. five straight days. He said, I, I aged that perfectly. And mm-hmm. they're like, Cheez-Its, Cheez-Its. 
Here we go. Well, let's age on into this break. We'll be back right after it. One more. Where's my cheese whiz, boy? The other night, giving the boys a bath in the sink, because that's what we do still. Yeah. Yeah. First one up. Oh, that, that warm water. That was them. the that was the first time that's happened. I'm sure it won't be the last. Oh, but it, it was just yeah. a real bummer that it was number one. Uh, oh, I mean technically number two, but he was the first one. Then yeah. I had to drain the water and start over. That's it. I was when like, number one, fix the new bath water. Goes yeah. number two. It's never good. But that's wild. I told Brittany. I said he's trying to poop. She's like, oh no, it's just gas. And by that time, nope. Nope. I said gas. we're not gassy no more. Hey, them are not. Nailed them it. are not bubbles. That was our. <laughs> Well, there were a few bubbles. I know, but, but hey, then, <laughs> then there was some matter involved wow. in that. That just I goes said. to show you when you're young and when you're old, don't trust your farts. Yeah. Oh. Well, or I'm middle aged. Yeah. I'm about to say, I don't know what I, I ain't, know, ain't much change at 37. So, <laughs> all right, JD, what's in that mailbag? Hello at duckcallroom.com. Well, that's the email address. Just you got called a poop head. That's fine. Yeah. Poop head. Well, he called me a poop smeller or something. Oh. You it's a very fart. mature thing to email, buddy. Yeah. You made your point. Also, I'm the only one that reads it, and I deleted it. Yeah. <laughs> There's your fake laugh. Anyway, also, you thought so much of it to take the time to send an email, so thanks for your support. Hey, we appreciate right, you. Doing, and guess JD? what? I'll be sitting right here on the next episode. See you Follow later, up. bud. Yeah. Hey, Sharpie. Relationship. Sharpie emails. Do you remember Sharpie, Martin? Sharpie. Sharpie. It was a long time ago. See if you can jog my memory. I'm going to try and jog your memory. Sharpie emailed in 10 months ago. Oh, boy. 10 months ago. And asked for advice on this girl that him and another dude liked. Okay, yeah, that sounds familiar. And we probably, yeah, that's a normal one for us. Yeah. And you said, hey, just move on, bro. Yeah. I ain't worth your time. Yeah, sounds about right. He remember he, that's what he did. And so now he's engaged to somebody else? Basically, oh. yes. <laughs> no, he's not engaged, but he did, like, it, you called it. He moved on, he's like, whatever. This new girl walks into his life. Uh, she's everything he ever dreamed of. See? Wow. Look, you could be stuck in that rut of 10 months ago. You're welcome, Sharpie. Sharp. So, you know. I like it. We're just here doing work. Please don't listen to advice from me. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, uh, you are changing people's lives. Well, good. Uh-huh. I just use common sense. Uh-oh. I wouldn't really call it advice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Now it's getting good. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> Luke from North Carolina emails in. Luke. God bless you, my friend. <laughs> what did Luke do? So I see something on your computer. He's laughing. It's great. It is. It's so I asked did everybody we to, to uh, send us some artwork. He asked an AI program to draw Uncle Si riding a giraffe. And that's basically what it would look like, although your nose is sketch city in this drawing. Did Look at that beard. Why did you do this? Well, why would I Did not? you show the picture that somebody drew of Jason sent in here? Oh, no, but that one's awesome. I know. That's why I was wondering oh, how this were, come up. Oh, uh, well, we were talking about how Sal always wants to ride a giraffe. This oh. is his dream. His dream in life on a... Oh, wow. ...is to ride a giraffe, which I guess that's... Yeah, but no, that ain't... No. Is that me and you? I don't know. And why is that giraffe's neck so short in that one? And well, that's why right. is Sai riding side saddle? That's right. Is he that confident? Well, he's, right. a, hey. he's a proper lady. Yeah. <laughs> one hump. You're going to get nailed. <laughs> <laughs> hit him, Sal. He's Play trying to ride Sal. No, you're trying to be nicer. Remember, don't hit him today. Hey. Oh, no. He's got one. It's on the books. It's, All right. Hey. Okay. Kenny will be happy. Thing, hey, the only thing about that, they put a saddle on him. Hey. And plus, they made his neck short. Yeah, why is that giraffe neck A giraffe short? don't have short neck. Maybe he's sticking That's a dwarf out. giraffe. No. I don't know, but we right. asked people to and, send. And I'm I hoping don't. one shows up in the mail. Like I wanted, like a re- legit picture. You're talking about like the one that's hung up in the store. That's uh, Jace. That's Jace. That's half horse and, and half Jace or naked whatever. Naked man he is. holding yeah. a shotgun. Yeah. And everybody said, "Why'd y'all hang that up?" I said, "How could you not?" That's yeah. right. Like, how also, you how not? did you draw yeah. that? Yeah. And, what were you doing? Yeah. And what about Jace? Made you think of a horse? Like I don't know. It's weird. Well, I could have come out there, Careful. but I'm gonna, Careful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that go, baby. Stubborn. I'm glad you did. Hey, Stubborn. That's fake, fake. Jace, you're well, welcome. You owe me one. I, um, I let it go, boys. Why well, you gonna say he's a donkey? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, never mind. No, I ain't going there. All right, what else you got? Sean? All right, so I got a heavy one. We can end with a heavy one. Yeah, end it. with that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, fan from the south doesn't want their name used, and I can understand why. Um, having a rough go. Just back to back to back to back. Um, 
lost her aunt in a car accident. A few months later, her grandpa died, had an early baby, 73 days in the NICU. Grandma died last week. Now her daughter has COVID and pneumonia. A lot of stuff going on mm. in this poor girl's life. Mm -hmm. And she said, I feel like I'm at my break breaking point. How much more of this can I take? I don't have anyone close to lean on. She just feels like it's just her and her husband and just cried all the tears she could cry in the last year, right? And mm -hmm. it's a new year. Mm -hmm. And that's just that she just went through just a trash year. Let's just call it what it is. This life's tough and went through everything. And she just said, I just want help and I need some advice. And that's tough. And there's no one here saying that you are not going through hell on this earth this year. That was a tough year. Hey, praise be. I remember that. I had a I had a stretch like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's rough. And it sucks. But you get through it eventually. You put your head down. I know you say you don't feel like you got anybody to lean on. But your husband is there. Y'all or the team, that's what the team is about when you make those vows. That's that's who you're supposed to lean on right there. But the cool thing is the ultimate comforter mm -hmm. is always right there with you, mm -hmm. and that's Jesus. And this is a time now, what what was that? When, I mean, like two, three episodes ago, you read, you know, when I'm at my weakest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ be glorified. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's just, your response is going to, because everybody around you knows what you've gone through. Yeah. And they're looking to see how you are going to respond to this. Do you keep trudging through, walking by faith, figuring it out? Not saying, walking by faith don't mean you wake up every morning and smile either, people. Yeah. Right? Some days you wake up and you cry. You bawl your freaking eyes out all day long. Crying is not. That doesn't mean that you don't have faith in the process. Bad that day. means today is a bad day. And that's okay. Jesus even wept. Yeah. I mean, bad days are fine. So just lean on your husband, lean in, you know, put a protective shield around you and him, do the best you can. It sounds like your baby is out of the NICU, I'm guessing. Yeah. Or so you've got that little bundle of joy. Um, 73 days. Look, we only did like seven. I can't imagine 73. I know y'all did a bunch. So, right I mean, I know how hour. emotionally taxing those seven were. Um, so, I mean, just lean on your husband, lean on Jesus, and, you know, fig figure it out. Like, because that baby's going to be watching how you respond to this, too. Even at that at, even at that age, they're going to pick up on it. So, Philip, the counselor, you got anything? You know, it all happens at one time. That's, that's if it's spread out enough, you know, it's, it, it is manageable. But when it happens so close, um, I guess so so close together it makes it just it's just more of an impact but the way i would say would be you know learn learn from from christ and his gentleness uh take his yoke um and and put that on because you'll find rest for your soul so if you if you cast your anxieties on him and you look for rest and peace for your soul you're going to find it through christ there is not another way you can have people support you Look for people who will help you, uh, but pray about it. Um, you know, pray about it, think about it, and and just put it all on Him because He can take it. Just like uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the Bible who went through trials and tribulations. You're gonna find those things in this world, but the only peace is gonna come from God Almighty. I'm, I'm gonna tell you about my kids. <clears throat> they was fighting one time, and and y'all. You know, and, and then they back talked their mother. Uh oh. Okay. And I had told them a long time ago, you know, you can treat dad badly and I'll deal with it, but you, you don't want to treat the woman that brought you into this world badly or I'll hurt you. But the, the thing about, okay, I read the, the start of this, your letter. It said, I feel that the whole world is against me. Darling, that's a true statement. The whole world is against you. Okay, that's one reason at, when you're at your lowest, that's when Jesus does his best work. 
Because guess what? That's when you turn to him. Because you've done run your gauntlet and you can't face it and can't handle it no more. That's when you ask for help. 100%. And I just, the last line in this email was, I want to know someone cares. We care. Um, and I, we haven't all been through all this back to back to back to back to back like you have, but everything you've been through, one of us has been through. Um, and it's tough by itself. So what you're going through does seem unimaginable, but we want you to know we're praying for you. I'm going to ask some fans to pray for you. And there's a lot of people that are going to be praying for you. And I'm going to end it with John 16, 33. Um, <laughs> I beat you to got it, big boy. Him. Nice. Because I said the world's against you, but I got good news uh, for that. Jesus Christ himself said, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. That's a guarantee. But take heart. I have overcome the world. It's a new year. Your last year stunk. Maybe that probably goes for more than one person out there. Maybe your last year was really good. I'm not a big New Year's guy and everything's going to change, but it it is a good time to market and say, you know what, I'm going to go forward this year uh, knowing who has overcome the world, taking it one day at a time. But we love you. We love all our fans. Amen. That's right. We'll be praying for you uh, specifically, and hopefully some of our fans join into that as well. I got a good feeling they will because we have awesome fans. Martin? And be sure to let us know when it gets better. Yeah. It's yeah. going to get better. It will. Just keep your head down. Keep trudging. It will. The tides will turn. Yeah. Um, and and when those tides turn, don't forget who helped them turn. Now, I'm not talking about us. Yeah. By, by all <laughs> means, I'm not talking about us. And then know. celebrate that and then <clears throat> boast in that and Absolutely. tell people about that. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. That's what you got to look forward Absolutely. to. Absolutely. So thank you all so much. We'll see you all next time. Right here in the duck call room. We're out. We're out.